Good morning. Happy weekend. Welcome to the show, guys. What is up? Scotty, 420's coming, man. 420's around the corner. Let's talk about what's happening. But is it really thing still? Like, it's not as rebellious as it used to be. So, it's still a lot of fun. It's a big deal. I don't have to worry about getting arrested when I smoke weed now. It's pretty cool. Well, maybe still at some places, still at some places. I just recall, I know, well, first off, welcome Banner, Grambo. How you guys doing? Banner is here. Grambo is at home. Grambo's feeling less than perfect today. And oh, my uh, kid got me sick, so I don't want to get the bakery infected. Thank you very much. Oh. That is very socially responsible of you, Grambo. Yes, thank you. So Banner is saying. here, but uh, just we have some limitations when Grambo is remote, so... It's here, just not on camera. What's up, Banner? Hi. Oh, that means you could smoke all you want. Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. Yes. I just remember, like, 420 used to be, and it still is. It's not, you know, prohibition's still strong in places, but it was. It did have that, I'm a rebel mm-hmm. feeling. You know, we're going out to fight for our rights, to grow, to smoke. Screw you, man. Like There's it, still it, places it, like that. Check your privilege, man. Just because we're here <laughs> in, uh, you know, you're in Vancouver and I'm here in Colorado. Uh, dude, in Georgia, there's a event in Georgia I'll tell you about, man. I mean, that's no cannabis, like no consumption, man. They're just there representing, trying to make change. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. It's kind of why I didn't want to do the DDC Cup on 420. I thought it'd be, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it on 4. Don't get me wrong. It's a good day to toke, hang out with your friends, have some fun. We're going to have a get-together up in Fort Collins with the Real Growers Headquarters Hangar. Um, and so I do, I, I do enjoy that. You prefer the hangar versus headquarters. It is definitely the hangar. And my neighbor is a helicopter repair shop. <laughs> Come on. That's pretty cool. Right. <laughs> no, it. Every time. Yeah. It's, it's pretty awesome, man. All right, more details to come on that if you are out in the Colorado area. But let's hop into this, man. So what's going on right off the bat? You got one of the biggest ones, the Denver 420 Festival, which is yeah, kind of a marketing man. thing. Are they about more about the fast money or weed? First off, uh, first off, thank God after COVID, thank God these are back. You know, it's a uh, these are gone for what two years? These big festivals, and it's just nice to see them back. These are fun, and. I mean, I got a kid that's, uh, you know, 20 years old that she's all excited about this stuff. She wants to go and party. So something like this, I think, is great for her. Afro Man is there. Uh, Big Boss Vet. Come on, man. Who don't like Big Boss Vet? I don't know who that means. But Gucci Mane, the Grambo. I don't know if there's anybody more in the Gucci Mane than Grambo, possibly Banner. But I got a little Gucci Mane. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, Anybody my know daughter Gucci told me Mane she... Song? She wants to see this guy called Hoodie Bo- Boogie with a hoodie or some jet. I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. my kid likes him or her. I don't know, assume gender. I didn't even like right when she said the name, I'm out. Anyway, this is more so the Denver 420 Fest is basically like a concert, right? There's not, it's it's a concert. I think it's a smoke out, a celebration of legalization, too. So that's when, uh, yeah, look, click that picture if you would, but. You know, you got people doing the giant cones, the giant joints. Where is it exactly? Denver. Like on the lawn? Like Denver. Yeah. Uh, I don't oh, know. just the whole time. <laughs> it's citywide. All right. Look, I shared without reading. All right. Look at that joint that that guy's got, though, man. They always do it. Like, is this the one that they do at the, at the courthouse? I know there's always the one that's at the courthouse. And that's why that way we protest and they start putting that's music cool. on there. I think then there was all the gunshots that one year and people stopped going. Just because we won doesn't mean we can't celebrate. Okay. Do you suppose that there are some anti-weed people that will be there protesting on 420? Oh, thank God. That'd be awesome. (laughs) Kevin Staben is going to be there with his signs. The smart Uh, approach uh, to cannabis. I will say we did celebrate. um, I think it was Cypress Hill. We saw Scotty one year 420. And it was kind of cool because they were in this like block they shut down and they did have a, a Breckenridge. It might have been Breckenridge Brewery had a truck there and they're like, we're warning you guys. Like if everybody just keeps toking, like we got to shut down, like because due to their contract or whatever, if, if people are openly smoking, they were not allowed to sell beer. And <laughs> of course, soon enough, they shut down, which was kind of cool. Uh, I bet. <laughs> soon enough. All their love. Hey, Banner found what you, this is rolling through Rhino. You found, yeah, 
This is event, up in June. Yeah, it's not 420, but this is a pretty cool. I think there's some next level stuff if, right if here. If you're like a if you're a, like a street fair, street party kind of dude like I am, it this sounds really cool. Yeah, we're beyond stoked to announce a very special event we've been working for years. You're invited to the ever rolling through Rhino in Denver. It'll activate multiple locations. Rhino is, I don't know what it's saying, River North, River North. right? Yeah, it's just a section of Denver. Uh, the annual Secret Stash and ending with the Best Trick Skate Contest. Uh, this is yeah. really cool, man. Those, uh, what those special tricks? stuff? Tricks? Oh, yeah, man, yeah. No uh, mountain bikers allowed. Sorry, dude. You should get ride a dirt bike or a mountain bike? <laughs> oh, I'm A bunch sorry. of live painting? They're not allowed. I like I, that. I, I have yeah. something about be a that. bunch of food around, people smoking weed and skating, and I like thought it was that's neat. Cool, man. Hell, man. Cannabis yeah. is totally being integrated with culture the way it always should have been. Yeah, and uh, it's really neat to be on the leading edge of this. Yes, and shout out <laughs> to uh, it's Groovy Gravy. Uh, if you aren't familiar, go check that out on Instagram. But uh, they put together all sorts of cool events like this. They have for years. Um, and this is kind of like a, a new a new thing that they're trying out, and I think it's going to be very successful. Is it pay pay to attend kind of thing? I assume get a ticket or um, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. how can they do that if you're? Yeah, I imagine so. Right, you're going to all these places. Nothing goes for free, man. All right. A lot of the stuff that they promote, though, you is is oh, well, you have to check it out. The other one was Terps and Glass. This is on April 19th, dude. <clears throat> this is when I was thinking that maybe we would go to. What is a banner? Uh, this is Hot Rod is entering this. But it is, I guess. Oh, just Terps a, and Glass. Yeah, just I'm sure that's a glass show. But uh, yeah, I, guess, I think well, it's what. And Terps, too. No, I think there's a judging aspect to it, though. Oh, yes, there is. Yeah, yes. I can't remember how there's many. There's two trains, different. But- Two different tiers for tickets. You can participate or you can judge. Yeah, there's a lot of these dab festivals going on. Like, uh, <clears throat> I asked JR if he knew of anything going on in his area. He's got uh, the OG Invitational. Did you see this? No. It's by Cheechable, the Freedom of Cheech. <laughs> Anybody have any idea what that means? <laughs> I don't it's Cheechable. Yeah, it's Cheechable. But it's the OG Invitational. Yeah. By the way, that is a pretty cool logo, right? Looks like Cadillac. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, you got to be you got to be careful with the um, said. I mean, you did one, Scotty, the seven ten cup. Um, but as no far way. as you know, doing concentrates, can, it yeah. depends. Some people can just go at it, but some people are going to be knocked out almost. You know, like just I got to go sit down. So yeah. it, it depends on the format. Grandma would be Ooh. good. I will tell you, man, that my kid has a dab rig, a full on dab rig with the torch and the recycler, you know, a little thing you spin around uh-huh. and everything. No, it's a turp slurper. She's got a turp slurper. Oh, jeez. I'll be damned. I can sit here and smoke out of this pen 10 times or whatever. It's okay, you know, and get, get a buzz off it. One, one singular dab from that rig. And I'm like, Hey, I'm gonna go and lay down in the hallway for a few minutes. <laughs> I mean, so <laughs> ripped. So it, I, there's a, there's a lot of consumption like methods, man. I bet you could run around with one of these and get a, got a flavor of a lot, you know. But that's not what I'm easy. saying. Like you see in the notes here, how do you judge? Obviously, just like our DDC Cup with over 70 strains entered, it, you can't judge on effects. Like, oh, that one did this. That one, right. you know, that right. one's really medicinal for this pain. Yeah, um, it's kind of got to go for flavor, looks. Uh, you know what? Kind of thing. I was wrong about this. Uh, the one JR is entering it is an invitational flower cup. Uh, calls upon Oregon's elite farms to compete for the best flower in the state. And I was told JR was, uh, was invited to this thing. So if he... I think so. Put it this way. He should. Uh, cool. You're out of reach, man. You're off camera. Uh, magically, Brother Trip uh, got some of uh, JR's yeah. ice cream cake, man. Yeah. Oregon grown. Yes, Oregon grown ice cream cake. Beautiful, man. And beautiful. So, uh, and that did give me a different buzz when I smoked it. A little strange going on. <laughs> I like that to go to this. Some strange. <laughs> yeah, you like to go to that? 
Well, I'll be in Denver. I'll be in Fort Collins, if you will, though. Um, it says it's a, 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 a farmers, Oregon's 30 of Oregon's elite farmers, which I don't know if they qualify you as a farmer if you have a grow room in your basement or not, but I think so. I think you're a farmer if you grow in anything. You can be a farmer of your two by four. I think you're elite if you get invited to this thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how you become and, a farmer. And they, they are always invited. He deserves your, it. Your reputation precedes you, sir. Got it. So okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, check this out. The uh, Washington, D.C. National Cannabis Festival. And uh, what is this? Washington, D.C.? Come on, that looks pretty good, right? Looking nice. Looks Looking all right. They're doing yoga. That woman is dressed like a plant. There's a trumpet. <laughs> I've ever seen the potheads at a festival that they wear the pots on their heads? Pretty good place. Yeah, I did. I did. I looks. I don't know. I just figured we hang out this Saturday morning and, and celebrate. You know, it's a a cool time where there's a lot of it's cannabis is all right, and we seem to be winning the war on not drugs but cannabis at least. It's also but nice, Virginia, you know. This is coming from somebody that enjoys his beer to go to a festival that's not alcohol orientated, if you will. I mean, you know, when more people are consuming cannabis and I mean, you usually see a, I don't say maybe a bit more creativity and color for people and happiness and smiles versus you get that as well at some events, you know, at a beer garden or don't get me wrong. There's some fine tasting events that the breweries put on in Colorado, but it's just not the same but to have it overwhelmingly cannabis infused. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking at this next one for Virginia. The Virginia 420 Dual Festival. Grandma, it's a dual festival. No, it's two separate places. Dude, me and you have seen Keller Williams we've seen before. Cosmic Charlie. I know uh, uh, Banner's really into Cosmic Charlie. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, it's neat, though, but there's a lot of educational aspect to this one. There's a cult outdoor cultivation masterclass. Indoor Sweet. cultivation techniques, cannabis cooking classes, cannabis advocacy. Hey, the Grateful well, Dub this. Band. Scotty, we can see the Grateful Dub Band. <laughs> where, <laughs> where is it in Virginia? It's in Virginia. Where? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> in Virginia, Banner. I don't know. I don't Virginia know. Big place. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Probably. I really do yeah. like festivals that incorporate camping as well for me, as far as um, it's good to not have to leave places like the Misty Mountain Camp Resort. Sounds kind of nice. It does, man. Garrett Farms doesn't sound bad either. There's a Misty Cotton Mountain thing. Farms. I didn't know the Cottonmouth thing. Are they pulling them out of retirement? Who knows? Greenwood, Virginia. Cool. Yes. That's I hilarious. That. Greenwood. Greenwood. I like that. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was cool. All right, now this one goes to like the most cojones. All right, if you show up at this one, you've got uh, you are fighting the uh, the cannabis fight for us. All right, this uh, is Puffapalooza, and this is in Macon, Georgia, and that is the heart of prohibition land. I think that's where you can go and get marijuana cigarettes at one of two. Oh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, uh, pharmacies. You have to go into the pharmacy. And isn't that where the Almond Brothers are from? I don't know, but those sound delicious, man. No cannabis is allowed at this event in red right. letters. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, dude, going what? to this and parking there and the Georgia cops waving you and sure, parking over there. Oh, um, I don't know. I, that's a good question in the comments. Like, do you have to worry about this at this type of festival I've seen before where like they're just waiting for people down the highway a little bit and they know I have possession. Let's get some possession tickets today. You know, let's write some shit up or are they just leave it alone. Are they over it? I'm assuming they're over it, man. That would be rather uh, no. uncool. Well, did someone pay them or not? Yeah. Mm. Or yeah, I don't know. What's the culture? Who knows? You know, they used to call it the uh, the Georgia stomp where they wouldn't take you to jail. They would just make you pour your weed out and stomp on it. So they weren't like militant there. But, but for the events, though, do you remember when uh, we were trying to do the Tiger event? Uh -uh. And part of that was getting a permit. And then part of getting the permit is you got to have you got to have people who are who are going to vote on or going to approve it. So I, we're having a Tiger event. Yeah. Token with Tigers. 
Uh-uh, I don't remember that. <laughs> You don't remember that? It was going to, we were going to do you, it at, uh, the Wild the, Sanctuary. Yes. The people no. that don't know the back, the back story is. Well, I don't remember that. And I was down with that? It. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't get a permit. Huh. The Denver. Uh, the Tigers. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. The the owner of the wildlife sanctuary, Banner moved quick. We even got a website up, token with tigers, and is like got a hold of it. He's like, You guys, you're gonna mess with our donors. Like, get that down. What's happening? Oh, <laughs> oh man, I don't remember that, but <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I don't think I want to talk with tigers anymore. <laughs> the history oh. of the DGC, man. You guys have done some weird stuff. <laughs> I love uh, it. Hey, shout out to Papa Palooza in Macon, Georgia. I don't fight like the good fight over there. And, uh, hey, dude, I got a competition for least fun. All right. All right. <laughs> First off, this is just a shout out to Germany. Um, they are a little bit, little bit uh, different over there. I am a little bit looser, I would think, than most Germans. But who knows? I'm stereotyping. Uh, they are having, they legalize cannabis in Germany. So they're having ICBC Berlin show, Europe's largest cannabis industry B2B. And in all fairness, this is business to business. So, of course, it's not going to be super exciting. And it really is just a backhanded way for me to wish Germany uh, success. And I think that's uh, congratulations on legalizing. Yeah. Huge. Yes. I get they the say ticket as with Germany that. goes, that as Germany goes, Europe goes. So this is actually going to be a huge, huge step for the whole European Union. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So again, there's just prohibition falling down. I love on Saturdays to hang out and just celebrate the fall of prohibition. So slowly but surely, it seems to be happening all over the world. I miss the old good expos, man. That's again, like when it was more prohibition, the Indo, I, I was at IND Expo. We always used to set out front a trailer again with our, our antics, Grambo, but we'd have the tra- one year we just had a moving van, I think, out front. I like put banners on it and it was always the cool expos to get seeds to a whole bunch of like grow centric not not pink shirts not like oh here's how i want to packaging or processing machines but um you know all the nutrient companies would be there i really yeah. enjoyed those they're not as happening anymore yeah that industry has changed There's a lot of stuff has just moved online yeah, true. But we got to hang. I mean, I don't know. That's why I guess I'll shout out to the DDC Cup right now because we got to hang, man. DDCCup.com, guys. June 1st, VIP sold out. Competitors are, are first. Yeah, competitor tickets are sold out. But there's tons of judges. I shouldn't say tons, actually. We're one third, we're like two thirds. Banner, where are we at? We don't have too many tickets left, do we? Dude, we are all, I'm telling you, we're up to like 300. I saw it yesterday. It was only like 150. I meant to congratulate you guys because I looked, it sends me a little uh, uh, notification every couple of days. And I'm like, wow, good job, y'all. A good job, dude, by the way, Banner. I have nothing to do with the DGC Cup. I love writing the show and having a a big part in the show. But y'all just take care of that. And last year was great. This year is going to be even better. Uh, so got 60 work. foot more tent yeah. thank you thank you very much guys a quick overview on that one got 160 foot long tent by 60 feet wide 70 plus strains of cannabis 32 vendors the vendors are listed at ggccup.com great place to get genetics get some plants get a tattoo we got tattoo artists <laughs> oh, you know and it's and it's on a uh, hobby farm in uh, laporte colorado so it's a beautiful spot to come hang and have a nice summer day ggccup.com Make some girlfriends. Yeah, absolutely. I, I tell you what, man, let's get in. The, I, I tell you what, I will do my recharge shout out right now because it's just more hanging out with the DGC. But uh, I had some really good, you know, I go check the comments for the show. And every now and again, there's a really good one that, that I'm very proud of. So uh, the family Shire. OK, uh, I appreciate your rocking the recharge. It says, man, I love Grow Dots and Recharge. First time user of Grow Dots. I'm a week seven and a half of flower, and the Grow Dots work perfectly on six strains. No issues at all. Such an easy, healthy grow. So, man, that's what I want to hear. That was the idea behind that product was to be able to sprinkle it on, have success, hit the ground running. Uh, if you go out of town, not to have to have somebody mix in a bunch of bottles and Man, it was a couple of years in the make and it feels really good that it's out there and people are getting it. And yeah, 
they're picking up what I was putting down. Bro. That was it for me, man, was being away. I'm not away a lot, but when I am, I'd say, hey, all I need you to do, boy, is go in there and put water on these plants, okay? Nothing else. You can't screw it up. Sweet. So it makes things. It's the way you talk to them. You don't put your arm around them and call them son. Son. I like the boy. Uh, still, wasn't it Homer? Homer Simpson, doesn't he call him boy? Like, yeah, he's angry. Calls him the boy. <laughs> And by the way, we were talking on the live about uh, germinating seeds and keeping dampening off from happening. Rumba 6110 says, why not just put a tiny bit of recharge in the shot glass when this with the seeds when germinating? Lambo, that's what I I'd use the paper towel method, tiny bit of recharge on the paper towel. And that's a good way to germinate. I like it. I like it. No vacancy. Keep only the bennies around. Yes. Yes. That's what I got. And dude, hit this next one, this comment. Uh, Banner, you found this on Patreon, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's, this is at Mr. Loki uh, the Red. This is more about the DTC Cup, please. Like VIP event entry details, tips, etc. Mm, okay. Kind of wants the breakdown. Maybe I jumped the gun earlier. Oh, this Maybe one's cool. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Grab your, grab your. Yeah, I've already Sorry, lost the mouse. I haven't moved anywhere, but I seem to have lost the mouse already. Uh, yeah, come on. Let's talk a little DGC Cup, right? Because it's... Uh, yeah. And first, I have an announcement. First of all, our friend Colin from Ethos Genetics, uh, we were talking a couple of days ago, and he says to me, Banner's a little suspicious of this. I have autoflowers, spam autoflowers that are testing in cannabinoids and terpenes over his photos. That's pretty okay. interesting, right? Well, um, yeah. Auto flowers aren't there yet. So I managed to more details and ask him, I tell you, we're going to get a lot of details because I asked him if he, if he would throw some in to every VIP bag. And Sweet. generously he said, yes. So yeah, three pack, I think he's a three or I don't even know what it'll be, but uh, of auto fems that he swears are performers. And so he'll be we'll here from the, the, the horse's that. mouth, as they say. I think he's going to come yeah, out live on Monday. Yep. So stay tuned. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as the event, quick breakdown is is basically everybody banner. I don't know if we have this on the site. It'd be a good idea. Everybody that is comes with a general mission judge ticket, you get a, a DGC lighter and glass one hitter, label DGC one hitter. To go around, and I don't know how you try to sample 70 plus strains. Some people have claimed one year when we had 45 or 50 strains that they got each one. I mean, you got to be a machine and you got to be on the move. But we have uh, bud tenders, tending, and tables all set up. You can go around and you can pack your one You can look at the jar of weed. You can smell it. You can waft it to your face. Keep on moving. Um, and yeah, have a really freaking good time. And uh, the community as well. It's so awesome just to be around all the like-minded people and talk. Just talk shop. I talk more grow that day probably than I do on any show day. Really? Yeah, you're right. You are right. It's hours and hours of What's talk. the first question for me? When, some, when I see a strain or somebody's like, dude, I just harvest this. How did you grow it? I love to ask that question. I love to hear right. people, you know. Some people are really, they tell a great story. Other people are like, uh, GH3 Park slabs that was it you know so, yeah which is fine for you it'd be just some grow dots up in there hey, um, look, a great grower uh, loving in her eyes uses gh3 part you know it's all it's about the genetics if you're going to grow dank first and foremost it's about genetics it is all about genetics but then i always wonder if you add that one little you know side input it's hard to not play with but you don't want to waste money um, and you got to do it carefully. What might bring the the, the dank? I was busting Rusted Jeff's uh, dreads, I'll say, on the last live show about what's better, man. Is it synganic? Is organic really, you know, flavor wise? Can it be better? Um, so it's how you do it, man. It's it's how you do it with organics. If you're putting everything in balance, and the plant has everything it needs, it can uptake it as it needs it. Hell yeah, you're going to get great taste in weed. And we've all tasted amazing organic weed. And we've all tasted amazing synganic weed. You know, something where you, if you're putting a little earthworm castings in there, it's synganic. If you're gonna you know, do- eating it with any kind of tea, any kind of microbes, that's synganic, man. That's what I'm going to do now, my next grow. <laughs> um, finally, I'm doing all the same clone which I hope is is good to go. And because I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm just about to take clones 
but I have stuff hanging that isn't even fully dried yet of which I've, I've picked my pheno. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is the one, but I might as well take the clones anyway. Long story short, I'm going to treat half of them with, uh, they're all going to be on grow dots. It makes them sound like they're hooked. They're all on grow dots. But then I'm going to also half of them do a top dress of insect frass, uh, as well as another Gaia Green Power Bloom powder, which has got some different and see just so I can see, you know, half and half. You got to see and insect frass is a nutrient, though. It's you know, it's uh, yeah. What, that's not the point of it. It's like a two, yeah. two, two, right? Yeah, yeah. It's got a little bit of a little bit of nutrient in it, but yeah, that's not the point. Yeah. You get that star response, man. Um, all right, what else from New York? It's a two, two, two. Thank you very much. I think I hit on how bud tending works, guys. We got uh, head head bud tender. Where's where's our who's our head bud tender? Where's he work at? Banner. Verts. Oh, very cool, man. That's a that's a very classy dispo around here, man. Verts is the I don't know. This yeah, it's the neighborhood choice. It is the neighborhood dispo, isn't it? Isn't that their? It is. Is. It is for real. It's right next to Dude's Bike Bar too. Yeah, you can walk there. Uh, they're, they're one of the places where you can get, if you're looking for like the really primo yeah. uh, rosin and stuff. That's like where seven, you can ten. Get yep. The uh, Dab Logic, for example. Yep. Good stuff, man. Very cool. Yes. All right. So we got Pro Bud Tenders. And what do you, as far as if you can't taste every all 75, do you go up and do you smell them? Do you start asking? We forgot to mention you have, uh, we haven't decided yet, but you will have voting tokens, wooden custom voting tokens. And that's how you judge on these strains when you go around. Um, man, it's, it's, it's the J, JR tokens again this year. Yes. I think of we course. need to JR. It, man, I think we JR need to switch tokens. it up. What if folks we might. Got the JR tokens last year, man? Oh, no, they're dated. You got it. Your bud tender will not allow that, Scotty. Ah, uh, very cool. Very cool. So, um, yeah, this, it, again, this is really a party, a we, a big weed social party. Of course, there's some competition aspect to it, but it is hard to go around with, let's say you have five tokens out of 70 strains and really just pick your favorite. But some are going to stand out in aroma or looks. We've talked about on that last live show, actually, where I think it was, uh, I don't know if it was Ross or Jeff, we had James Bean on as well. They're like, I've smoked plenty of weed that didn't look that great and got me super blazed, you know? So it's not all about those trikes, diamond strikes on trikes, even though it looks pretty, because you can see CBD bud that looks freaking dope, triked out. So yeah. it's going to be yeah, fun. I could, may I make a voting suggestion? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, I think the best way to approach this is just what are the... What are, what did you smoke that you kind of that was memorable? Mm. Right. Well, how do you clear your palate between you know between the <laughs> so you really salami and cheese? Uh, <laughs> you grab, you're on to something. You grab some of Raider Dank Vader's pizza, bro. All right, you boys are on to something. I like this. Salami? <laughs> that is, uh, that is hey, a little salon. Never hurt nobody. <laughs> no, but it's you're you're voting on what the best weed is that day. Yes, you got it. I got a shout out here, man. Also going to be at the DGC Cup, uh, Lost Coast Plant Therapy. Scotty, have you ever gone to the Lost Coast and gotten a little plant therapy? Yes. Yes. Don't tell my wife, man. It was <laughs> awesome. Sorry. You got a problem with my hat? Uh, <laughs> well, the Lost Coast. <laughs> Stay the Lost, Lost Coast. Coast. Yeah. Now it's in a bottle. You don't have to go. Guys, lostcoastplanttherapy.com. Uh, it's a great IPM product to handle everything from thrips, aphids, we got russets, we got spider mites. What else can hit us? Fungus gnats, all natural, no pesticide, white flies. I hope you don't get any white flies. Uh, but an awesome way to do that. Coupon code DUDE at lostcoastplanttherapy.com will get you 20% off. They also offer a free two ounce sa- sample that does up to two gallons of finished solution. Um, and your, your room's going to smell like your grow fresh peppermint when you're done. It's rather pleasurable. Uh, DGC approved by people such as JR Token, Raw Sufa, One Eyed Cat Cannabis. Uh, so, this product's been out and within the crew, guys. Uh, it is a great IPM product. Lost Coast Plant Therapy.com, coupon code DUDE. Come to the DGC Cup. Also, in the VIP goodie bags will be some Lost Coast Plant Therapy. All right. Yes. What's wrong with your hat? What are you trying to hijack? I got to give a shout out, out, man. I got to give a shout out to Cortez the Conqueror. He knows that me and Banner, he knows that I go and get a cheesesteak every now and again. Dude dude shakes his head in shame when I do. But uh, oh, yeah, I'm from right. Philly, so I love it. Oh, Banner's a foodie. And uh, yes, sir. No, 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 no. Go ahead. 
Cortez is from Chicago. So yeah. he sent me Chicago beef. I got a giant, a giant cooler of Chicago beef, man, from Portello's. Yes. That's supposed <laughs> to be the place, man. So, yes. Yes. We are eating Chicago beef after this banner for breakfast. What does that mean? For breakfast? Did you do uh, any- I, think it, I think it's like a cheesesteak kind of, but you ever seen they dip it? I've seen it on the Food Network. They'll dip it in like a jus or something like no that. No cheese. There's no cheese. No cheese on it? No cheese involved. Yeah, we're about to. We're about to find out, man. And thanks for that. Yeah, it's like cooked. It's, like an, it's an Italian. Yes. It's like instead of like a French dip, it's like an Italian dip. Yes. There you go. Yeah. So we're about to party after this. Cortez, they had so much fun. Cortez the Conqueror, thank you. Uh, we were laughing earlier, thinking about how many friends we have made just straight up through the show. And I mean, one of my best friends is J.R. Token. And I met him through him commenting on the show. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. And so. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, man. Rasta Jeff became a great friend. I love going to the mailbox because he hooked Ooh. us up. Yeah, except for the patrons or do what you want oh. with them. You got yes. this, right? This bump. Yeah, right? That is great, man. There's in the mailbag. What do you think? Should I put this on? That's pretty cool, <laughs> right? You and the aliens? Is that from Dale? Is that from like, Cold Dale's saying this? This is Trichosaurus right here, man. It's Trichosaurus. Dude, you need to wear this under your uh, under your robe, bro, oh, just wow. to prevent nipple slips, man. Where's my beef? Yeah, he, I'll save you some, man. I'll throw it in the freezer for you, man. Where's my beef, man? Yeah, very cool, man. Got seeds here. It is it is nice? Very cool, man. I appreciate all the DGC, the whole mail. Yeah, man. I got it. I got to come on. Go grab those seeds, man. Dude, those Sammy. are for the, those are for the DGC. Strawberry bubblegum and BC lemon scalp. Yeah. Random seeds and vials, man. We got it all over here, dude. Come to the DGC right. cops. You know, we'll be hooking everybody up. Out, out to those cats, man. Got uh, I'll shout out to Kuzmas up here. Oh, Cannabis 613, Northern Light Kind in Sweden. Everybody's been super dice sending stuff over. And uh, it's been great. Yeah, great community. I did. Great. As a matter of in fact, Toucan Girl NY, him and his wife made these beautiful cups for us, or these beautiful mugs and banners that are possibly aggressively just looking at this one and being like, and I'm like, it's beautiful. It's DGC on there and everything. And uh, he was like, I was supposed to give it to somebody. So, Banner, this is for you. Brother. Oh, thanks. That man. is for you. Well, here, you can, you don't have yeah. to do the weed too. Another gift is. Uh, Uncle Jim's ice cream cake oh, wow. is in there, which it, do me a favor, Smiley, give me a review Sick. of the ice cream cake. What do you got, man? It smells like ice it's cream like, cake. Ah, I can do that. Man. It, Come on, you're our like, terps hey. guy. You're our terps guy. Do we know anything about the ice cream cake strain? No. Um, I forget what it is. It's got some gelato in it. If I remember. Ah, it does. Gelato 33 and wedding cake. Wedding cake, yeah. There you go. You can really smell the wedding oh. cake, right? Yeah, sure. Sure you can. Uh, yeah, you can definitely get some of the right, this hack of... <laughs> and but you tell like, me I'm still wearing the hat, dude. You get a little bit <laughs> creamy, a little bit of like, uh, you know, like cake, cake dough. Yeah. Cake, like... Let me see that. Cake batter. <laughs> Hang on here. Hang on here. Shit. It's a classic, man. It smells like weed to me, man. <laughs> it's a classic. It's, it's one thing when you 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 don't tell people. You first you ask them. Like I don't say, right. here doesn't this orange gasm smell like oranges? I like to be like, what do you think this smells like? Or doesn't this smell like baby poop? <laughs> like try and get it. You're presetting the senses. <laughs> right. You know, presetting. Does this smell like an orange, orange weed had an orgasm, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I'll get Let's stuff, take man. it to the fall of prohibition report here because. Uh, we actually talked about this on the last live show. If you guys are missing those, go check it out. Click on that live tab. Um, but this is out of High Times, which is a music yes. company now, right? I guess they always They're still in business. High Times. Stripe. So, so if you guys don't know, Stripe is a major online credit card processor. Says no to funding cannabis journalism. Backs down after a fight. Okay. Yeah, the payment um, platform Stripe claims cannabis journalism violates its terms of sale while continuing to support cannabis and paraphernalia sales. Yeah, so if you mention kind of like the weird discrimination that we're under, you know, if yeah. I, are we not cannabis journalists? 
Why do you think we get into, like, yeah, why do you think we have to jump through so many hoops, man? I don't really keep a journal, do you? Well, no, I don't know what the qualification is to be slick. What makes you cannabis journalism? And in the eyes of Stripe, I mean. Yeah, right. I would argue that we are cannabis journalism. Cup reporter Josh Grambo on the scene. Dude, that was messed up. He said cannibalist, man. So, uh, yeah. Go uh, to self, watch Grambo. Why did he not last, in his house today? Well, this is weird. <laughs> last week, career cannabis journalist, managing editor of San Diego Magazine, Jackie Bryant, joined droves of ancillary riders being targeted by Stripe, Substack's payment platform, for violating their terms of sale despite merely reporting on the plant. Interesting. I, I love her brand. Her brand is Cannabitch. That's <laughs> pretty cool. I was going to say, who who wants to say it? I don't want to say it. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Very strange. I get it. It's like, why would you still allow? Because I thought that still wasn't fully allowed. I was seeing um, when you're selling glass that you would get, potentially lose your credit card processor pipes, whatever. But it's all about yeah. the wording and descriptions on the site. Um, yeah, it sure is, man. It sure is. Well, it's just crazy. Yeah, this is fun. So much, so much cannabis discrimination going on. So it makes you, you know, the whole federal oh, legalization thing is, I guess, the only time this will stop, huh? That's why, that's yeah, I mean, I, up in Canada, lost my, I don't know, I think it might be worldwide, but I had seeds hidden, like on a hidden page, iRegenetics for Canadians on my old recharge site. And somehow they found it and it's like, bam. You can't get a credit. You're on the list. You're on the list for like five years. I called up James Bean because he's very familiar. He's like, yeah, dude, once you're on that list, you're on it. Like there's no buying your way out of it. It's like, man, I'm, I got to do, I need to do business. Thank God I got a wife that, and she's like, if you F this up for me, it's like, so I'm walking a fine line here, but. <laughs> so Stripe continues to support e-commerce giants like Amazon to directly sell Ready? Cannabis accessories and growing solutions, as well as crack pipes, syringes, and knives. <laughs> hey, crack pipe is only a crack pipe if you put crack you in it. You smoke crack. It's just a pipe. It's, it's just a piece of glass. Yeah, just a glass pipe after that, man. That's cool, though, man. They did reverse this. One woman uh, bitched about it, and she actually got somewhere. Now, they said, we've successfully with Grambo. Could you imagine if YouTube ever said this to us? We have successfully completed our review and you're welcome to continue processing payments with Stripe. Yeah. Could you imagine if you ever won an appeal, man? That'd be so much fun. <laughs> I'm like one out of 70. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Better than nothing. Anyway, that's what I got. All right, let's take it over to some comments, man. Um, this is, are these uh, some, some comments off of YouTube? Yeah, I, I scrolled YouTube, and it's so. I got a shout out to our DGC. It is a great, it is a great group. I scroll the comments, and a lot of times you gotta like you know put your thick skin on. And I just cruise through the comments, like hanging out with friends. So I do appreciate it. Uh, and one of your friends, Dread Naughty One, one word just says mullet, <laughs> mullet. I'm tempted. I'm tempted because my neighbor has this what he calls a skullet because he's a little bald on the top, but he still rocks oh, the yeah. bullets. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? live in Canada. I don't see what where why. Dude, it, it, has oh, it's yeah. normal. No, I, I'm actually probably getting bonus points in general public if I do a mullet here in Canada. Yeah, you totally. know, I don't know how, <laughs> how how many mullets do you guys see down in the Colorado area these days. Uh, not a ton. Not a ton. Not a Maybe ton. like someone that has one ironically in Denver. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, here you go, man. Maurice Callis, 1303. Are those nipple tassels behind dude's bathrobe? <laughs> and this was just one of the nipple uh, comments that I could, one of many that I could have pulled. No tassels, no tassels. But I mean, I guess if it doesn't, you know, get us in trouble and helps ratings, I mean, I had no idea that like you could have power with your man boobs. You know, I know some yeah. girls walk around and kind of flaunt or they know what they got going on or wear different attire at different times. But um, yeah, a little yeah, slip, know. areola, man, just a, different, a little slip. Run with it. No, you can't go there. Just tiny slip. <laughs> oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> so, oh, shoot, man. What do we got else? We got Vic, Vic, VT, VT Crafter. He says, ah, oh, Banner. 
My wife wants the spring grow space back for her crafts as well. Nope. <laughs> Are you fighting over grow space, man? Yeah. No. We're not fighting. No, of course not. Of course no. not. Yeah. But uh, what do you want to do, peppers? What's up? You're going to do hot peppers? Yeah, yeah. Probably do some hot peppers. Yeah. I have to find. I meant somebody sent us a bunch of hot pepper seeds. I'll, I'll wait till next Saturday to share those. I'm monocropping. Monocropping ghost peppers only this year. Ghost peppers only. And I do plan on having them outside and finishing them inside as well. I, last year, I grew them inside all the way until into the new year, which was dope. I got like two more harvests out of them. So Banner, be ready to bring your peppers in. They can grow for a few years and continue to produce fruit. Yeah, I'm always nervous about bringing like some friends along with it. Inside. You're a pro. Yep. Yeah. Treat them. Treat them. Spray them up. Get them good to go. Uh, no, he's right. As long as we're a bunch of growers, when well, you bring plants in out inside from outside, you're bringing all the natural bugs that are hanging out there into a small environment. Yeah. Uh, and then <laughs> my local uh, grow shop guy, mm-hmm. he um, runs peppers every year and he likes a lot of the same ones i do and he has been selecting them every year so we both are really really big fans of the chocolate habaneros okay so he this is going to be i think the fourth year and he's just saved seeds uh he's like a breeder man which is really cool because they were all grown locally here so they're getting acclimatized sure and so you know and he's selecting the ones that do better so it's kind of, you know, it's not that long, but it's cool. I, I would rather do that, I guess, than bring the plants in is what I'm trying to say. I'm yeah. lucky yeah. to have somebody like that. They were born. Hey, support some your, other nature. Hey, support, well, no, no, no. Like, support your local cottage industry, man. There's a lot of people, actually, that uh, will start peppers around right. and sell them in the springtime. And uh, it's great, man. You meet a lot of cool people like that. Remember the dude that had all the cool uh, Korean peppers? Yes, and and uh, he uses Recharge. Of course he does. No, that's bad. <laughs> hey, I, I will say, as, as Banner's talking about getting a pepper starts, if you come to the DGC Cup, you might want to think of bringing a way to transport clones or at least to hold on to clones, whether it's a bunch of solo cups that you put them in or something, because I guarantee you there's going to be clones going around there. And, man, you want to talk about skipping the line, you know, wait, having to pop seeds and wait and pheno hunt. Just get yourself a dang clone. No, no, I uh, I agree. And I was saying, shouting out to Mother Nature earlier because it is when I brought Word. those pepper plants in, Scotty. They uh, the I didn't see them, but they, and they were, they were in a tent on their own. They weren't sharing the space with cannabis or anything. But they had this like black aphid that just took off. Because when you put and then I was like, you know what? On a nice day, I put them back outside, and those aphids got torn up. Man, there's so many things outside that like to munch on aphids. They don't get out of sure. control like crazy. So just, sure. just to understand how nature works, that's what we talk about. One of the biggest uh, things that a, a, you know, a bug can't get resistant to is being eaten. So um, it's cool to see how that works. And I didn't know. It only took like two days, man. And there was no more aphids on that plant. Every, all kinds of stuff. I think it was because it was by a yellow jacket nest, maybe. I'm not sure. But watch this here. Hey, this next one, I might be just trolling banner. But <laughs> read this next one, if you would. All right. This has been a controversy about the bovida packs or they just the, the moisture packs in general yeah uh who, right. what are the ones we got what are the ones we got uh, where are they well, integra integra? integra i'm looking for one. Oh, there you go you got one but uh do they steal terps and there is a lot of conversation it's built a lot of buzz dude well herbert werner says steal the terps maybe but with some strains it changes the terps for sure but it's a have to have in the long run. Better to have sticky bud that has changed a bit than having dried up dust. Okay. First off, I, I agree. Even if it doesn't change the terps, I agree that dried up weed is the worst. Keeping that mo- steady moisture in there is badass. Um, Tony OP6XF fell asleep on the keyboard, <laughs> says the different. Oh, that's the only way you can get Tony these days. The different humidity <laughs> and pressure causes different molecules to be more or less volatile than others. Hmm. It affects the molecules, bro. What do you mean by the pressure? I guess the pressure of the... Okay. I, yeah, I, I really don't... Know. Metro pressure. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, this is just conversation here. I don't know if I agree with either of these. I think all it's doing is keeping 
the perfect amount of moisture in there. It's it's just uh, I feel like we're missing the point. Uh, the point is to keep it uh, well. So we live in an extremely dry climate. Yes, where like the humidity could be in the teens, and so when you open your jar, there's no doubt it's beneficial. That the question is, does it steal terps? And well, as far I just I got to get this out. Terps don't just rip off. It nothing just rips terps off the bud. It's they're volatizing off. And what happens after they volatize off is not the fault of anything but the storage of the bud, right? Yes. Well, <laughs> that was a slow I, yes. I feel, thinking, I feel yeah. like this conversation is missing the point that like, okay, so my choice living here yeah. is either use or not use a humidity pack. And I'm telling you that when I open the jar, it's crisp. It will just immediately dry out. So Colorado my choice crumble. is to either have, yeah, Colorado mm-hmm. crumble, mm-hmm. or I can put a Turk pack in there. I love them. Or not a Turk pack. Mm-hmm. Uh, I should have said humidity pack. And uh, and it will kind of keep it nice and, you know, keep it from going crispy. And I'm only doing that with a little bit of, you know, like a small jar. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? You think, but your flavor guy, do you think it changes the flavor at all? I, I don't. Okay, I really don't. I, I like you. your tip there, though. You I think change the tip, you're just for me. You don't need it. Go ahead, Banner. Sorry, for me, the change in flavor is coming more from it getting like crispy. Like the degradation is more from it drying out and getting crispy than it is from keeping the humidity in the jar stable with a humidity pack. That's just my opinion. So keep it in your day to day driver. But if you're storing a QP that you're not going to open and is properly cured, I disagree, not. man. I got big buckets and I throw a bunch of little of those humidity packs in there. Cause even when you're opening that big bucket, there's a whole bunch of air in there. Yeah. Maybe you need smaller buckets. Somebody in the comments uh, mentioned you should get the two gal buckets from the from Home Depot, the shorties. I think Lowe's carries them maybe I instead of the five. Them. I have used okay. to be the real bucket inserts. I got them. I uh, just wanted to uh, throw one other uh, comment about the um, the pressure, yes, the temperature. So the volatility, volatil- volatility yeah. of those compounds is definitely affected by temperature and pressure. Okay, pressure. Okay, that would make sense. If yeah. you're keeping pressure on it, then they wouldn't be allowed to volatize off because it'd be under pressure. Correct. Okay. Right. Right. So, like, but I think what. We don't know. I I don't know. Have you ever seen any studies about like what the magnitude of that effect is? I have, but I'm not supposed to say anything about them. They're not published yet. Okay. (laughs) We'll talk about it next time. I have not seen any studies. But my point is just because like that is true, but I also have to consider how like the scale and the magnitude of it, like how much minuscule. Yes. Like are you the, the temperature difference of your jar? Like the range that it exists. Oh, that's true. The is that really making? If you heat it up to like two hundred degrees, yeah, it's no. Gonna make if, a big difference. if you leave it at eighty degrees, it's going to make a bigger difference than if you keep it at sixty-five. Huge difference, man. Yeah, yeah. So there's other factors at play. Is my point? Agreed, a hundred percent, man. I want to tell the listeners, man. I want you to take one of your hands, right or left hand, take that thumb, finger, or mouse, and comment, like, or subscribe, guys. Help push the show if you're having a good time. We helped you grow. You had a laugh today. Please do. Easy enough. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. Uh, deep thought comment. Deep. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, man. I, I want to spring this on you. I, I heard this last That's night deep. and I was like, this is a deep thought. All right. This is Maurice Callis. All right. If the plants figure out there's a sun outside instead of a light, they'll freak out and won't grow. Man, could you imagine that? They're like, what the hell? What is this? What is this bullshit, man? You know? So you got me a light. They'll go on protest. Yeah. There's a sun out there and you got me indoors with a light? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yes, dude. Now I'm pissed, man. I bro. Give me the, the safe room. chamber, man. It's the safe place to be if you're playing. There's no bugs in here yeah. to mess with you. It's going to talk know. them into it. Uh, I just thought that was a cool deep thought there, you know? Yes. Uh, all right, what else you got here from the family Shire? It says, dang, I missed the live. You dudes are in my main YouTube channel along with Chad and Jeff. Okay, why did you miss the live? 
Yeah, I just wanted to shout out to Rasta Jeff and Chad Westport. They are some friends of the show. They're both great content creators. As a matter of fact, Matt, I can THC as well. Uh, they're always up for hanging out on the lives and they always do a great job. So I just wanted to shout out to friends of the show and other badasses over there. All right. Shout out. Check it out. Uh, guys, this next comment for me, 419 yeah. at 419 Gaz City. Beer and weed go hand in hand after work. How about during work? Just depends on what uh, you do. Yeah, I might have been, uh, I drank a Corona while building this show yesterday. You're right. I had hard <laughs> wine. My wife made me go there. And no, I volunteered to go to karaoke with my wife. And yeah, I came home. I just had to, you know, drink a beer to help me, you know, forget. I don't know. Right? Does it mean not that I have an addictive personality or just like mind, mind altering? I love caffeine. I like to have, you know, half a gram to 400 milligrams of, of shrooms every once in a while, like three times a week on my mountain bike. I like beer. I like weed. Is it just like I like too many things? Can I just be normal? Yeah, you're totally normal. As long as you can do it in moderation. You also love exercise. You do a great job at work. Um, yeah, man. So it's, it's all, all in balance, bro. You seem to be pretty good about keeping everything in balance. My wife asked me the yesterday, is this what is this what your work day looks like? Because she didn't go into work. She was not feeling good. And I was like, be quiet. I slept in with you. You know, why are you yeah. wearing, you're, you're why in a robe. You wearing that robe? You're in a robe. <laughs> hey, no, man, I hope she doesn't beat you in the night. I mean, hey, I was- a corporate corporate wife wears a suit. So that's where that's coming from. Go ahead. Uh, speaking of beer, this is a really good one. All right. James Gregory says, Terps are what I choose by. Remember, we were talking about, uh, you know, how do you judge your cannabis? Is it by, you know, looks, by trichomes, by smell? And uh, Terps are what I choose by, just like when I order a beer. I don't like IPAs. I know they're 9% alcohol by volume, but I don't care. I'd rather have two, four and a half percent Modellos. That makes sense, doesn't it? Well, concentration wise, there's that. And actually, just to give uh, James a little info, IPAs, I think, I don't know if it's a standard. I like to see 7%, 9% is heavy for a beer. That definitely. Yeah, not... So the, the point is that he's not uh, going on alcohol volume. You know, you ever, yeah. ever, when you're like really young and be like, what's the world's strongest beer you got? And then you drink it and it's horrible. Shout out to Sammy Claus. <laughs> Come on, dude. Natural ice, yo. Let's do this. Party time. 30 pack. No. Um, yeah. I hear what you're saying, though. There is a, there, there is a lot of analogies with uh, craft beer, if you will, and craft cannabis, in my opinion, as far as like when you go. I've never gone to the Great American Beer Fest in Denver where you can go around and sample all these, you know, just little samples of different beers and tastes. Like, I, I enjoy that, not just because it's beer or the alcohol factor getting buzzed, like. It's nice to taste a few different beers or get the flight. You know, when you go to a brewery and you get the flight, um, I do enjoy that. Uh, VT Crafter is more my my style right here. He goes, yes, sir. 20 pen riffs at lunch. That's my kind of lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Grambo. Seems like Grambo's kind of work day. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much chain smoke the pen all day, but that speaks to it. I couldn't chain smoke dabs all day. No way. Chain smoke the pen. Hey, I got one more comment from you. Do you remember I I, I did? I just might have. Yeah, this was on the uh, this channel. Uh, this is the perfect grow media. You remember we were talking about the perfect grow media a couple shows ago? Yeah, Sarah maybe says I totally agree. There's a sweet zone for intense orgasm when the right amount of cannabis is smoked. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Does that pertain to grow media? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I was looking at comments and I'm like, let's check out the comments from the grow media one. We uh, featured yeah. a news story in that episode. And the news story was about, oh, something. Yeah. I, it, it was regarding um, cannabis assisting some product to assist with women or orgasms, I believe. That's what this is pertaining to. Yeah. I don't remember what the product was. I was scrolling the comments and I was like, Lamo, not sure what it has to do with the perfect grow media, but uh, you just made the next show already. What's the sweet spot? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's why we have a comment section on this show, too. Perfect. Perfect. I like it. All right. What else you got here? Hanging out, having some fun on this yes. Saturday. 
morning, guys. Uh, I'll do another. Uh, since we're switching over to some fun stuff here, I do want to tell everybody a great way to vote with your dollars is our pros list, guys. Dudegrows.com forward slash pros. DGC vetted gear for your grow genetics. Uh, we got a new breeder on there. Shout out to Joint Custody Seeds. Um, and as well, you know, it's, it's, it's just people I've talked with, people we've worked with, people you can call and get on the phone with and talk about their grow gear seeds here now, AC Infinity, can of nutrients. I could go on, but check them all out with coupon codes to save you money. Dudegrows.com forward slash probes. Yes. Banner found a couple cool things, man. Stoner Eclipse. All right. Okay. This is the 420 day. This year is a 420 day. This year is a palindrome that won't happen again for a thousand years. And Grandpa, just really quick, that guy is packing the joint, right? That is a <laughs> joint he was, is packing. I thought he was playing an instrument until you said that. <laughs> so too, I thought it was an instrument at first. <laughs> Wow. Hey, let's smoke a giant. Like a, did, like a didgeridoo or something. <laughs> yes. So what is a palindrome? Is the same thing forwards and backwards? Forward and backwards. So yeah, it's it's four two zero two oh zero two four. Like I uh oh. crazy. Wow. It is four two zero two oh two four. Four two zero well oh, oh yeah. Mind blown. Uh, <laughs> Come on, it's badass. Grambo, I figured you would like that one, man. It's the first 420 on a Saturday in almost a decade. So, yeah, this is going to be a big one. That's probably why you're hearing more about celebrations, because it's been on a weekday since, like, 2014. Yeah. Yeah, it does make sense. (laughs) Hey, Banner found this next one, and I just didn't know that people were still smuggling this amount of weed. This says $28 million worth of weed. It was like it found in Long Island bound orange truck. Uh, it's pretty classic though, right? It's just oranges, man. How do you get? I mean, that is a lot of weed, right? Well, are we going with cop math again, though? Banner always likes to say, like, no, I don't, math. I don't think this is wet weight. I think this was being smuggled. Amateurs, man. It says, um, that the it was during a routine inspection of the vehicle, New Jersey State Police Mobile Safe Freight Unit noticed a dozen pallets in the truck's trailer loaded with cardboard boxes that didn't match packaging used for oranges. Come on, I could do better than that. Yeah, it is all about the manifest, isn't it? Yes, yes, you got to match the man. You got to play the part, man. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I was teaching that to somebody uh, who remained nameless. But when you walk in, you just got to have some confidence. You know, if you look like you're doing something wrong, they're going to know. Oh, isn't that how you walked into with maybe somebody else into the cannabis cup like eight years ago when the line was all the way around the block? It was like two hours to get in. And you're like, I'm just going to walk straight in there, look straight ahead like I got to get in there. I know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> <Just before. laughs> There's a statute of limitations on that, man. All right. <laughs> Like it was like, it's not going to work, dude. It's not going to work. It worked. These are not the droids you're looking for. Let them pass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else again? A little bit. Uh, well, okay. I got one just to discuss. All right. I was, I was just checking the news yesterday. Powerball jackpot winner, Thodorus, whatever his name is, their neighbors want him to get security. They fear abduction after his $1.765 dollar prize man that is a hundred and seventy you know one thousand seven hundred and sixty five piles of a million dollars that a regular dude just won wow. that's a curse um, what is he gonna do with that man so get ripped off over it or kidnapped first thing he's gonna do is pay a lot of tax so mm-hmm. okay great so now he's only got uh what is that it's like for, if you take the lump sum payment i just heard this yeah day, i think you get like 40 percent of it after taxes and stuff do you think if you and this is why i brought it up i want to ask each of you i'm gonna start with grambo if you got you know, we'll say 750 million dollars after taxes do you think ultimately it'd be good or bad for you you're a single dude so I, I had this conversation with a girl I was dating. If you recall, the Powerball was uh, exactly four hundred and twenty million there for like awesome. a week a couple of months ago. So I actually bought in, and she was like, "She we we got high. We we're asking each other this question, and I, my yeah. true answer was, if I won, I'd probably like cry with like 
what will I do? Like, it's going to take away all, why would I get up and worry about anything ever again? I'm probably yep. going to get fat. I'm probably going to end up on drugs again. And I'm going to yep. end up just, all with you and then people. my kid's going to be lazy. It's going to bring nothing but horror into my life. Yeah, it's good. You got to work, man. It's great to have some reward. You know, we work really Can hard. I just show. Give an uh, obvious you answer. Yes. Go sir. ahead. <laughs> I was just saying that I get up every morning. Me Banner comes over. We look forward to solving problems together. Hey, how can we explain grow See, to people? I already, I already know what dude's going to say. Grandma, if you want a billion dollars, you buy hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no that would totally dude, ruin you. Dude, what is your, your price for your hair, man? <laughs> how much will you sell Grandma your hair for? What would I do? Pretty, yeah. It, Travel the world, man. Do what you're passionate about. Travel the world with my family and mountain bike. And like with the, the I, get, I, I get the curse part. I don't I, I think I could travel the world in a few lifetimes without it getting old. There's a lot of shit out there. I mean, it's yeah, it's I that's I think that's one of the uh for me, one of the biggest not ripoffs in life is like a quick example. Um, I probably when I lived in Colorado for 15 years, probably mountain bike. 20% of the trails available to me, you know, it's, it, if you could stay and I don't mind getting old by any means, but there's a lot out there. I, I'm not saying don't have a home, but I would love to travel. Well, come on, Albie Mangles, shout out. What's up? All right, cool, man. Cool. That's why I'm asking. That's why I'm asking. I just wouldn't tell that's, anybody. That's the way to get perspective on life is travel the world and see different cultures. It'll put you, it'll give you a real good, put you in your place quick. I'd say the only big, big change for me is I'd probably get like a whole fleet of e-bikes so we could all go e-biking yes, together. Yes, no. oh, God. <laughs> Banner, would you even tell anybody? I don't even know if you'd even tell anybody, man. That I won? Yeah. What would you do? Uh, what would you do? Would Fish be to... playing at your birthday party? No. So the way that I would look at it is like I wouldn't look at ways to spend it. I would just think of I don't need to worry about anything. So it would give you complete freedom to pursue something that really, really yeah. like makes you happy. And let's be honest, when you have that much and you're at least for me, I would want to try to give back. It is so much fun where you can give and, and help people. Only problem is you can't give so much, you know, in, in my life, you can give so much till there's nothing left. So it'd be really nice to be able to be really generous. That's what uh, Jeff Bezos is. Say what you like and what you want about her. But Jeff Bezos' wife or ex-wife got a whole bunch of money in their divorce settlement. She was just giving it away. Just giving it away, man. Nice. Yeah, too many people have uh, all, a lot, all the money, a lot of the money. They should start giving more of it away. Um, Don't worry, this lottery winner will give it mean away. you have to buy a bunch of crap. No, you can get ripped off just like in the olden days. Like this. I don't know. Scotty's from South Florida. So, like, if he wins, it's going to get a little ridiculous. <laughs> you know, we'll see. As far as, oh, yeah. Wow. Scott's you're gonna, gonna get like a you have like the, the biggest biggest boat on horse tooth. You have a local he's, mega yacht. <laughs> he's gonna buy one of the keys. Ah, nice, cool. nice. But if I did I buy a boat for my local lake, it would be so I could have all my friends on it and have some fun and party. Nobody's gonna want to hang out with you anymore because you want all that money. I'm like, it's, just, it's not even related. I can't even relate to him anymore. You know what yeah, I mean? That'd be another problem. That's what that's what I'm saying, man. This guy was seven hundred million dollars. How he just lost every real friend he had because every single friend that he wow. has is now he can buy him back though. And, but they're a meal taken. Now they're going to work for him. That's now why you don't want to tell anybody. Yeah, now it's your friend that you asked you to borrow a hundred grand, pay, you know, because he needed yeah. it, and he's never going to pay it back. You uh, know, do you, you know, think yeah. Powerball or lotteries? I I think do give you the option. Hey, we don't have to have this go public, but some people just want to be in the news with their name. I would be like, dude, yeah, I, I don't go public with this. Just say somebody won it, right? That's the way to do it. I mean, your friends are going to know, you don't know, think? <laughs> I, I'd notice if Grambo won half a billion bucks or a billion and a half bucks, I should say, I would know. If you did win. Walk in with a full head of hair. <laughs> and a grill, right? You'd get a grill right away, man. <laughs> If you did win, what would your grow look like? Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. It would look like somebody would be taking care of it. You'd have some giant or, you know, you wouldn't do it yourself. No, I'd have somebody taking care of it. Really? You'd hire somebody? to? Oh, man. Oh, man. I go down to my bamboo nursery and everything is perfect. Trust me. You want people taking care of that stuff for you. Trusted people that are doing $2 million to run my grow. 
That's my Done. point is if you are spreading it around and a bunch of good people are getting that money, hell, I don't know. So, sounds cool, but it, well, that's a good idea. It sounds like a curse, though, man. That money sounds like a curse. I love working with you every day and just clawing at it and having a little bit of success every day, climbing maybe one ladder, you know, one rung up the ladder. Oh, that is fun for me. I look forward is. to those days. Keep it simple. I'm going to stick with Lawrence from Office Space when asked what he would do. Two girls at one time. Yeah. You know? yeah. All right, man. Can't argue with that. <laughs> That's why they call sure. him the dude. Hey, dude, you put YouTube on in the background. Uh, all, yeah, all the time. Just like you, you were, you were. I was working on the show a little last night, and it's good. To, you know, we're all addicted to double screen in any way. Just admit it. It's nice to have two screens at once, stimulating your brain. But yeah, when I'm messing around on the internet doing stuff, I'll put on some YouTube in the background. Usually, it's something like it's growing micro cilantro microgreens, or I'm trying to have something that's not like uh, going to make me dumber, if you will. You ever do two TVs at the same time? No, it's too much. Ever hit two bombs? <laughs> I do it. It makes me feel like I have a house full of friends, so I just put on multiple TVs. Uh, uh, hey, Grandma, click this next one. This is my. This is my. Uh, this is my new uh, favorite channel. It's the Excavators Channel. House full of friends, dude. They will rent you an excavator. You can play it, and you can just go to you know whatever rental place and rent you one of these. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's my actually neighbor's got one. Excavators. That's two. This that orange look, thing is an excavator good. stuck in them. Have you seen the ones where they do stunts? Excavator. Oh, I have. Yeah, man. yeah. They they use the bucket and do all sorts of cool stuff. <laughs> well, anyway, it's like an hour where they just figure out how to get these out of the mud. Um, <laughs> interesting. I would not. This oh, wait, man, this might be okay background. If it's back like doing taxes, just put music on. Yeah, it's good. But then uh, the YouTube algorithm, Grambo, click the next one. Then it wants you to, uh, it's like, hey, if you like that kind of mud stuff, you're going to love Drain Addict TV. The guy just goes <laughs> and clears drains. Yeah. Don't click on it, Grandma. Don't click on it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it does. Like, uh, this is I just want to. Oh, like indoor drains? It's just no huge. It's just disgusting. I don't know. It's uh, like the there's ASMR stuff where the drain busts open and then I guess it's. Very satisfying to some people. It's a weird world, bro. There's a bunch of uh, channels around uh, getting rid of like brush and stuff that's like flooding. It's like ASMR, right? And well, no, it's all about that the fetish, release, Rambo? I guess. It's yes, it is. The <laughs> sudden surge of water. I don't want to talk about it anymore, man. It's ASMR <laughs> when Banner does it. It's fetish when you do it's it. It's fetish. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. It's Before you get to crazy. play. Is it real? Uh, I want to shout out, hey, you DDC producers, man. If you're not a producer, just dudegrows.com forward slash real DGC for real, okay? Uh, you producers make this show happen. And if you're growing the dank, it just only makes sense to save on real growers products, free seeds, yep. uh, direct messaging with me over on Patreon, the 420 happy hour. You're all missing out. And uh, man, we're coming up on our 10th anniversary. So, uh, trying to figure out something special to do for the producers. Much appreciated. Go over to dudegrows.com forward slash real DGC to become a DGC. We want you. I'm starting to work with like the mind, trying to do the mind tricks, Scotty. Like get in deep, yes. trying to, you know, neuro linguistic programming, dude. And you're just watching old like Army and Marine recruitment commercials. You know, Scotty Red Wayne nice. Dyer. It's tell them what to do, man. Grandpa's got NLP books. I know it. Okay, let's play. Is it real? My kid All has right. NLP books. Don't, don't. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Is this real? Are these real? I can't tell anymore, man. I think this first one's real. It's because I now I'm in the hanging machine. It's my jam right here, Grandma. It's my watch this. Could you imagine this being your job? Dude, that is a bulldozer going down, a big one going down, a 45 he's like, It's like drifting. Yeah, he's like dude, drifting a bulldozer. That guy is really drifting a bulldozer, right? Wow. Dude. Very interesting. Yeah, that's hardcore. That is hardcore. Right, oh, I'll go with... God. Right? As long as you don't flip. Yeah, everything's cool. You're in sand and in a good cage. You're good to go. I'll give it real. I don't know what the point of it is. Sure. I Real think that's crazy. work. I, think that's I don't know. Work. I wouldn't want to be yeah. upside down on a, a bull of those. Yeah. Yeah. No, do you or Banner want to bump? 
<laughs> it is Saturday. It's kind of is this real? Are you are you it's like eleven in the morning? But uh, <laughs> it's I'm from South Florida. No, I'm just kidding. Me and it's it's on? real. This is uh this is a one gram container which equals four hundred milligrams of caffeine that you can buy for ten dollars US and they want you to snort it to the dome. It's it's one. a bit on it's a bit on the nose. Ah, not bad, sir. Not bad. What? It, this is real. Um, it's a clever blend of caffeine and inositol. Inos- I don't know what inositol is. You guys? I don't care, uh, man. I've never heard of a product. Oh, man, there's cut in there, bro. Don't cut it with innocent all. Yeah. That's yeah. so crazy. That is so listen crazy. to their description. Uh, it says, simply tap out a small pea-sized circle of our energy-boosting powder and get ready to ride that lightning bolt of reju- rejuvenation. The lightning Dude, bolt of rejuvenation. What? <laughs> Yeah, I have like, you would- liability insurance. Like I have liability insurance. I just had the you know, you know the consultation where they see if you're all covering everything for the business. I mean, I couldn't imagine if I'm like, yeah, I'm doing like a snortable caffeine. Is that cool? Will you insure me? <laughs> be like, no, no, we won't. We'll do let's do. We could use a new sponsor though, Grambo. You're down. You'll be the. You'll do the the. You know, we'll get age gated every time then for sure. No, no. <laughs> I mean, you do. like caffeine? Would it, you snort that stuff? It, it's just no. so good. I don't, it's not a good look. Yeah, like, snorting things isn't a pleasant no. thing either. It's not a good delivery. No, no, no. Your nose. Uh, officer, it's just I, I boost caffeine like an adult. Dude, <laughs> you're hanging out in front of the cops and you just put a little right there. <laughs> so, anyway, man, I was <laughs> thinking about being on the force back in the day, man, you know? And actually, Scott's yes. on to something. S- smoke a CBD joint, doing bumps of this. <laughs> yeah. right. Talking about the- alcohol man. here. Wow. Oh, wow. What else you got? That's real. Crazy. Is this real? I can't tell, man. In the age of AI, Banner found this one, and I don't understand. Is this real? It's a truck, but it seems to... Uh, no. Yeah, I'll it give doesn't it no. seem to be moving. I don't that's see funny. any um any any tread pattern in the gravel as it goes, and that's that's a gravel surface. Well, There's no way it would like oh. a, a pneumatic arm below it that's on a pivot. If you recall, the Batmobile had a similar function. <laughs> yeah, but the Batmobile wasn't <laughs> real tank style. You're just rotating one side one way and the other side the other way. I just find it interesting that Banner is on TikTok. You see that? Ooh, I like the brand of it. It's a it's a Yang Wang, the brand new Yang Wang. Yeah, yeah. where's my Joy Yang? It's the best oh. brand I got. Tick. So that's I'm watching a TikTok video on Instagram. What the hell's happening? Too much. Yeah. Now what can I believe in? <laughs> it's better. Who All found right, the, next one? Who found oh. this? I can't remember who sent these to me, um, but this is, uh, hey, my shreddies, my shreddies. And, uh, you know, <laughs> as they're carbon- we're looking at a. Go ahead, Scotty. I just have this labeled as carbon filter farts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show the, the diagram down what happens here. We got, we're looking at uh, women's wearing them and it, you can see the flatulent odors in the purple. And after they pass through her carbon filter underwear, they're odor free, dude. So you can just yeah, look at that. anywhere. <laughs> the headline: No one dude. should ha- no one should have to suffer with malodorous flatulence. Find me a better. Dude, I have been on flights where people need these. Okay, totally Be a good idea. Maybe for air travel or close company. Like up at the top of this ad, they're snuggled together in like an overhead camper. And there's no, they're about to be in the moment. So who wants to smell? You know, you could just let loose easy and nobody knows. <laughs> Grandma, scroll down to the fart with confidence thing. This guy is so confident farting, man. Keep going. Look how confident that man is. He's beefing one out right now. Going up, going up. <laughs> oh, he's, he's going to turn to Philip Gold. Yeah, look at that guy right there. Dog, dog. No, idiot. He no he's longer. Lifting up his leg. He no longer has to blame it on the dog. Yeah, what I was just like. gonna say the same thing. We're both writing copy here, Scott. Uh, Come on, Should this now this maybe could be a real sponsor, man. I I I, I could make a good ad with these. Be like, I love them, and I'm wearing I'm them now. Friend. Your wife will accept I mean, I, the mullet if you wear these underwear. It's a trade off. <laughs> 
Does it does it dampen the sound at all, or is it just the the smell? Oh yeah, that's an extra upgrade. <laughs> it's a sound dampening. <laughs> oh shoot! One more here. What do you got? Dude, just uh, check this last one out, man. Check the last. This is Robot Overlords right here, and I saw this, and it scared the crap out of me. Is this real, <laughs> Grambo? I think it is it's so real. scary. I think it's real. Yeah, it I is like a real. robot army. And Just imagine so opening your front door. You're being raided, and you open your front door and see this. Well, at least they're doing push-ups and not like trying to put me in handcuffs. Yeah, they're just building their their strength. All right, to put you in handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, handcuffs. Yeah, right. Oh, Robots. That, that Scott exercise. likes to say. Scott always says it's really speeding up at the oh, end, isn't it? Up here towards the end. <laughs> yeah, you got that right, Grandpa. I don't know. That's like yeah, a hell of a pet. Might make a good pet. So, uh, dude, it's, it, when you travel, it's that's that dude's pet for traveling right there. He comes home and his robot is still alive. It's a personal like, trainer. Yeah. Hey, um, Grandpa. Well, shout out, guys. Still have that option to give us a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Um, hang out. Make sure you catch our Monday live coming up, 420 Pacific time every Monday. Kicking a good panel show. And, man, yep. have a good weekend. Stay higher and take her easy. Hey, have a great weekend. Better have some fun this weekend. Grandpa, you feel better, brother. Once I, got, I feel and, dude, great now. I think I'm going to feel crappy in about five minutes. Oh, shucks, man. You want to stay on the line? <laughs> Dude, take her easy, brother. Check out the Drain Channel. Drain Channel. <laughs> take her easy, y'all. He's out. <laughs> <laughs>